Yo guys, it's me, ZachMac25, Chapter 6, Time Well Spent, Little Willie, February 26, 1945. Let's go. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Can't imagine being in prison. It's first person as well. Alright guys, you get to see what you'll be doing in the future if you don't like and subscribe in this video. Alright, go on. What's he doing? That James Bond in front of me. No, he's old, but I don't think he's that old. I will, I will do you, man. I'll get my fishes out. Can you at least let me get up? Man, what the hell? Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me.
Welcome to the salon. Oh my god, a fresh trip. I can see me in the mirror looking at a fresh tree. Let me, this is the fastest I can walk by the way, so it's a bit annoying. Uh, watch, watch time I guess, you know. That fresh trigger. How bad that is. Oh my, look at. Wow. Oh, use the bed, yeah. It's not really using it, but okay. This was going to be my new home for the next 10 years. 10 years? Wow. Play basketball now. Who can I talk to? Those three are all the same people. I'm going to talk to this guy. Galanto is the old guy playing chess. We're going to visit the old guy playing chess. Fight this guy, man. Come on. Yeah. 
I don't think this guy's landed a single punch yet, and I'm not gonna let him land at least one. He's not gonna land any, okay? I lied. Oh, he's landed like five now. Need a better angle on this thing. It's not letting me punch him. out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counter Rito, I want you to hit Peppy. Try and bust that big jaw of yours. Peppy, you will avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that moment to throw a punch in your arm. All right, fellas, let's get going. That a boy, Peppy. Keep that oversized chin of his down, Dad. Footwork, Remember your footwork? Whoa! What are you looking at? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire on him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right. See if you can do that It's a handy tool to have in the box. Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Cut it. Most guys. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, one more. There you go. Yeah, fast landing. Alright, fellas, that's enough. Nice one. We barely did anything, but okay. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... Well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of exp Okay then. I'm gonna leave the gym. 
Watch where you walk by me. If your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked. Isn't that racist? Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these cheats are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You gotta get quick and tired. When he's weak, he put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Get out. Show him what you can do. <laughs> oh, I just remembered I was supposed to fight. Put some shoes on, man. Okay, got me. Later. So what's happened then? Let's go, go Skeletta. You're late, late for work. work. Right, let's go follow Galante's man. You'll see. Now walk fast, man. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why not train you today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before this big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice. Come on. Right. Entry the laundry room and prepare for a fight. The guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard. He ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, the lower his gun. That's what you're gonna do. All right, here we go. Make me proud of you. I'm gonna take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama goes in. Give me my Emily's nun. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me higher than that. <laughs> Lay it down on the job like always. <laughs> Just spamming circle and it's working. Have that. Hell of a job. Hell of a job. Here's your cut. You ain't good. Yo, yo, one of the hats is cut. Really? Okay. Some kind of circle chart? Alright, come on, Scalada. You got a visit. Who's the visitor? Oh. V. 
Tito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. All right, now it's one week later. He just hit me. I'm sorry, man. I just followed the wrong guy. I see it have to hit me. I have to clean your animals. Not best, you know. What's the matter? Keep cleaning. She's literally going all what you want. Is that everything? I guess. I don't see any other dirt, so. Never mind. Oh, wow, you just made it dirty. Wow. Naked, good. Because I don't want to get age restricted. And in case I do, bang, have that. Oh, I can't move it up in the cutscene. Wow, nice. I like your scars, 
missile. Hit the wrong ass to drill. We can, we can do this the easy way. way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better bet. Why don't you go fuck your buttons instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want to be rough. Come on, man. I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up, man. Have that. Do that again. This is literally how you win. You just, you just spam circle. Try and win. Have that. I'm fighting more of them. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? No. Might want to read it. Looks important. No, 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 no! Ah. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, Every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Just the man I wanted to see. Shut up, that. I don't dodge my new spamming technique. How do you? Right. Can I change the camera angle, please? Thank you. This is literally all you have to do. Bloody Irish Matt Doherty wannabe. Nice shot, Mary. Get up right now. Have that. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? How to do better than that, little girl? What, I thought I'd... Oh, I'd literally beat him already. I'm gonna try spamming triangle. See what that does. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said you could use that? Shut the fuck up. 
I killed him. Nice. Well, actually, it was more like a sweet. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on Fla Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker. And you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Well, guys, that is the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Good. Bye.